ser services everywhere. We talked about that a lot, right? But that means as well, not only thinking about API as a client facing channel, but as well thinking about API as a connectivity between the systems in your infrastructure, right? So going for that one. Um, it means as well the, 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 the very calm days where you had a system up and running five, day, five days a week from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. are over, right? We're talking about 24-7 real-time 365. And that does not only mean on, yeah, uh, uh, on your core payment stack, that means all the surrounding systems and infrastructures as well, because at the end, you need to be able to do limit checks, you need to do sanction screening, you need to do your fraud checks, all of that, right? So that clearly means you need to think about different technology. Um, and then, as Greg said, on the cloud journey, right? Frankly speaking, the clients don't care too much whether we are on the cloud or not, in many cases, right? As long as it's not a client-facing solution, but a pure bank infrastructure. But it just makes sense to do it, right? Because it helps to scale much more easily. It helps to have a more modernized stack, etc. So that's why I would say not from a client experience roadmap necessarily, but from an overall technology strategy is absolutely the right way to go. We saw that actually with um, um, when instant payments take off, they're going to take off so quickly in the country that you need to be able to scale rapidly and potentially using cloud because if you're relying on you know standard typical data centers it's going to catch you out very quickly but we don't see the same